Hello everyone, John Frouse to a Top Spin Tennis. In this video, I'm going to break down Novak Djokovic's open stance backhand. He's got to be one of the best neutralizers in the game. His defense is exceptional. I'm going to look at some of the technique, you know, some of the things that he's doing on this stroke that makes it so good. Enjoy the video. All right, before I get into the analysis of the open stance backhand, let's go ahead and discuss the intent here. And Novak's intent is to completely neutralize the incoming offensive shot. You'll see him a lot of times, whether it's on the forehand side or the backhand side, he's going to utilize an open stance and the big reason for that is just efficiency of movement. He's not having to take an extra step. By loading on that outside leg, oftentimes he'll slide into the shot. Uh, he has to take less steps in order to recover. And that's really the intent here, is able to move to the ball. Let's watch him move to the ball with that open stance. And then by loading on that outside leg, He'll push off and then get right back into the point. So the intent here is really take the incoming ball, neutralize it. Oftentimes he can be offensive off, the sh off of this shot as well because his technique is so good. But the, the goal here is to neutralize the shot, efficiency of movement, and get back into the point. All right, let's go ahead and look at his split step. He does a nice job here of split stepping, so let's go ahead and take a look at that split step. There's the load, pushes off that right foot and moves immediately to his left. Notice his hands, how they're low as well. Signature position for Novak, notice how that racket face is closed and his hands are low. Here's where he moves to that incoming ball and then let's look at that loading position. Shoulders are perpendicular to the net here. Notice that movement. And then here is the loading phase, just before loading. And what I, the reason why I wanted to stop here is notice how his heel is touching the ground and the toes are up. But here's that signature position. Notice how the racket head is high. The hands are low. The hands will be below the elbow. And then let's look at the incoming ball. There it is. His hands will drop below the ball in this position. So racket head is high, hands are low, hands are below the elbow, and then here's that dipping of the racket. But just notice the brevity here. It's not a very big swing. The incoming ball obviously has pace. He shortens up his backswing here and really utilizes that pace and either matches the incoming pace or will absorb it a little bit. There's the racket head high. There's the dip. Notice here in this position with the racket head is below his hands. Hands are still below the elbow, but then look at the swing path now to the ball. It is going to be from low to high. So he's definitely going to impart some topspin. Now because the incoming ball has so much pace, let's watch on contact. So here's his contact. Notice how that racket angle's open a little bit here, right? Notice that, so he's trying to get a little bit of lift here to get that ball up and over the net. But watch how the limited extension, so basically what he's doing here is he's looking to possibly dip the ball, get it up and over that net into his opponent's feet. So watch the swing path. Notice how the extension is limited. He goes up and across the ball and then finishes over that shoulder. So he always gets that finish, which is really, really interesting, right? Because the take back was brief, not as extensive as a normal ground stroke, but then he still finishes up and over that shoulder. Now, notice the left foot, how he's gonna anchor that left foot, and then immediately the recovery is so essential here because now he can put pressure on the opponent. If he's able to dip that ball and put it at his opponent's feet, opponent may have to pop that ball up or hit a really, really good half volley or volley. That puts pressure on them because they know Novak is so fast. 
that if they don't hit a very, like a quality shot, he's going to make them pay. All right, I hope this helps. Love watching this guy play and compete. He's one of the best. If you haven't incorporated the shot into your game, I highly recommend the open stance forehand. The backhand, the two-hander, uh, we're seeing more of the open stance. The one-hander can be a little challenging. When I'm playing, I really don't think about my footwork and necessarily hitting an open stance, but if you practice it, the reps, eventually it becomes instinctive. If you haven't done it already, hit the subscribe button and that like button as well. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to get updates on my future videos. Thank you so much for your support. And